like sound stage work, like sound effects for movies and things like that. Um, or if you're like um, like a cameraman for a, for a news organization or something, you would use these types of microphones because they they target specifically uh, like a specific area. So like you can point it at something. Primarily pick up what you're pointing it at, and it will um, cancel out noises from the sides and uh, from behind. So I'm really excited about these. They're up above me right now, uh, out of camera view, but um, they're still pretty sensitive uh, and they pick up a lot. So uh, yeah, so I'm really excited to use these for the first time in this video. The sound. Um, it picks up everything, including like all of my movements and touching my skin and everything. So it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I'm I'm getting into experimenting with different uh, microphones and things. So I like it. Uh, hi, how are you guys? How was your week? <sighs> what week is this? What day is this? Do there was 
was a single website where people could go to find all of these resources. Um, and so that's what I set out to do when I created coronaresource.info. Um, and uh, it's really targeted towards Seattle area residents. Um, I didn't want to do kind of this overarching, um, you know, national or uh, international uh, effort because I, I don't know what the state of Michigan what their resources are for local residents or Milan or Brisbane or, you know, any other place. But Seattle, I definitely had a, um, you know, a lot of links that were being pushed around uh, via Facebook friends and local news publications. And so I took all of those and I put them together. Um, the, uh, the website is a work in progress. Um, and it's just informational. It's not sexy at all. Um, it's literally just, um, you know, it's exactly what I said. It's just for resources. If, if you are in need of help, there's a lot of resources there. If you want to help, there's a lot of resources there. If you're curious, um, if you have questions about things or you just want to find data or news or statistics, um, I have some links there. Again, it's a work in progress, so I'm working on building out the small business section uh, resources and then the frequently asked questions, so, and I'm working on some formatting issues and things like that. I am not, I am not a graphic designer, and I'm mostly colorblind. I don't know if I mentioned that uh, in any of my previous videos, but these brown eyes are uh, quite colorblind. I did a, um, a colorblind test when I went to the optometrist, I think it was like four or five years ago, and there was 13 different, you've probably seen it before, but it's those, it's those circles that have like the, the different colored dots, there's like three, two or three different colors, uh, I think, <laughs> I don't know because I don't see that many. Uh, but yeah, there's those, those circles with the colored dots inside the circle, and then there's supposed to be like a number or letter. I scored out of 13 questions, I got one right. Like one. That's how bad my, my vision is with color. I mean, I also wear contacts too, so um, I don't have that much of a correction, so I'm not only like color blind, but I'm actually like kind of blind as well, so. Um, yeah, so uh, I've heard about those uh, those glasses that you can get where you can see what what everybody else sees, where you're not colorblind. I would really want to check those out, but I don't know where to go for that. So, and they're kind of expensive. So, anyways, um, yeah. So the website. I don't know if the colors look good, if the color scheme that it shows is good. Um, please check it out. Let me know what you think. Um, again, it's a work in progress. There's always, like, new information coming out about coronavirus and new resources, and things are changing daily, and so it's a little bit challenging to keep up, but my whole idea behind the website was just to have something out there for people to use, so... Um, and I just wanted to help in any way, shape, or form that I can, and building websites is something that I'm fairly quick and good at, um, and I understand all of the technology behind it, so it's pretty easy for me to do stuff like that. So, again, just wanted to help out in any way I could, so, uh, yeah, cor coronaresource.info, if I remember, I'll, I'll put a, a link in the description below. Um... So yeah, that's one of the reasons why I haven't, I didn't post last week, I don't think. Um, so I've been a little bit busy with that. Um, work has been crazy busy, um, which is good. Um, I'm very grateful to still have a job. Um, I know that a shit ton of people lost their jobs over the last several weeks, and I'm so sorry if that's one of you. Um, I don't really know what to make of all this 
this this is and I don't know if anybody really knows what to make of all this this is just it's absolute craziness um, it's like the whole world just got flipped upside down and uh, just like overnight it seems like and oh my god was March the longest month ever how slow time moves when you're stuck indoors all the time. Um, you know, I, th I might have mentioned this, but I work from home, and so I'm kind of, I'm a little bit used to this as far as, like, having to function at home, and I don't have any kids, so I, I have no idea what that's like for all of you parents out there. Man, I, I feel for you. Um, I don't know what it's like. I'm not even going to pretend. I, I can't imagine the incredible challenge that presents to any of you with kids. So, um, if you haven't uh, pulled all of your hair out, congratulations. That's good. Um, the other reason why I have not posted in a while is because I'm working on ASMR video than I've ever done before, and it's a project that um, came up a couple of weeks ago that I've been pouring a lot of time into, and um, I'm not sure how it's going to um, how it's going to work out, um, but I figured I'd give it a shot. I'm I'm. I don't want to give it away uh, or spoil it, um, but um, it's it's pretty cool. I um, it's it has music that I'm composing, uh, nothing fancy, but um, uh, yeah, I haven't played music in a while. Um, I don't know if I told you guys, but I used to play uh, the drums in a band. For a long time. I played keys in a funk band for a while. It's been really interesting getting back into music, um, just even for uh, like this one video. It's amazing how you lose your chops so quickly. Um, and it's also amazing how quickly it comes back to you too. Um, yeah, it's been a while. I'm curious uh, how you guys have been holding up. Uh, with all, with everything that's going on, um, I don't know. I think it depends on where you live, how long this shelter in place, um, has been for you. Um, here in Seattle, it's, I believe it's been three and a half weeks, or maybe four and a half weeks, I don't know at this point. Um, I know that I talked to my friends and they're starting to go, they're starting to get a little bit of cabin fever, like really struggling to stay indoors and with the weather being 
this app on my phone that has the calisthenics on it. Um, so, you know, just using your body weight so you don't need any weights or anything. It's just, you know, push-ups, sit-ups, lunges, things like that. Um, and it's, it's, it's pretty good. I mean, it's not the same as going to the gym, obviously, but um, it's good enough, I'll say that. So that's been really good. Um, and then I've been meditating, as you probably guessed, I've been meditating every day, which is super helpful. Um, this last week, I'll be honest, was especially anxiety-ridden. Um, and I'm not sure why, because nothing has really changed in terms of our situation and how, uh, how we're stuck at home with um, you know, limited things to do. Um, but, uh, yeah, for whatever reason, it was just like, you know, starting to weigh, um, like a little bit more heavily on me. So, yeah, just trying to manage that and keep the anxiety, um, at a manageable level. Um, and, uh, again, focusing what, on what, um, I think is the best thing that any of us can do right now. Um, I'm trying not to watch the news uh, very often. Um, uh, it just, it seems like mostly just bad news at this point. Um, but I like to stay informed as well. But, you know, things aren't going to change overnight, just like, you know, they did change overnight, but now I don't think it's going to, we're not going to go back to normal anytime soon. So, um, yeah, I think, I think that we're in this for the long haul. I got this box here and it's this thing of cards and I don't, I don't, I think it's called table topics and essentially it's just random questions that you can use to ask people to get to know them better. It's very, um, very thoughtful questions that I thought would be kind of fun to try out because um, I think that we all need a break from coronavirus topics and talking points. Um, and uh, yeah, I just wanted to kind of mix it up a little bit. So I think that uh, I think it'd be a little bit fun to to try this out and to try out my new microphones as well.
this time I was listening to, um, so I, I'm a huge fan of funk music. Um, I've been really getting into funk lately. Like, there's this new group of funk musicians, I think, out of Minneapolis or something. Um, so the, um, Corey Wong and, uh, Joe Dart and Wolf Peck, um, if you guys are into funk or if you're just interested in checking them out, um, it's called Wolf Peck, V-U-L-F-P-E-C-K, I think it's spelled, um, and they are just, oh, oh, they're just filthy, it is so funky, it is so good, um, and then they have a bunch of side projects, like Corey Wong is technically not part of the band, but he plays with the band a lot, um, and then, uh, and he does a lot of his own solo stuff, and then there's, um, the Fearless Flyers, who is, uh, it's, I think, two of the guys from Wolfpack, I think. Um, and then a drummer called Nate Smith, who's amazing. And then Corey Wong is also part of that. Um, yeah, and those guys, like, there's this whole, uh, group of musicians that kind of all jam together, play together, and I've been loving that. Um, and another funk band that I absolutely love is called Lettuce, like, Lettuce, like the vegetable lettuce. Um, and they've been around for a long time, um, and they are phenomenal live. If you ever get a chance to see them, I highly recommend it. Um, but yeah, I think that, uh, that would most likely be my answer to this question. Uh, if you could be brilliant in one subject, it would be music. Um, speaking of, I think I, I think I need to do a, a music topic video for you guys where I, well, I only talk about music. Um, I was thinking about going through my iPod. I found my old school iPod, you know, with a little circle wheel on it. Um, I have like hundreds and hundreds of artists on there and I've got it all transferred to my iTunes, but, um, I wanted to go through it and kind of clean it up a little bit and actually transfer the music, um, and like some of the playlists I have onto my Spotify. So, um, I was thinking about going through that and recommending if you guys are looking for something to do while you're in quarantine, um, music is a great way to, um, to kind of get lost. Um, I have, um, recently, um, uh, in this pandemic craziness, I have been doing something that I used to do in college that, um, for whatever reason I stopped doing, um, and that is, um, intentional listening of, of LPs. So I have a turntable, and when I was in college, I used to put records on and just sit and listen, and intentionally listen to an album um, without any distractions and give it my um, all of my focus. And I I really missed that, and I I can't believe I stopped doing that for so long. But um, but yeah, I've been doing that lately. It's been wonderful. So, um, yeah, I highly recommend doing that. In one of these videos, I'll do a music-only, music-themed um, video where I talk about all my musical likes and bands and artists that I love and that have shaped my, uh, my musical tastes, if you will. So, um, if it wasn't music, I think that, um, I would probably have to choose, like, engineering, mechanical engineering, or something like that. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm an insanely curious person when it comes to how things function, um, and, like, the mechanics of how something works, um, and if something that I own breaks, I get really excited about taking it apart to see if I can fix it, or just taking it apart 
just to see how it works. Uh, that is something that has always fascinated me. So, um, yeah, I'd have to say engineering of some sort, mechanical engineering, I've heard, um, would be right up my alley in terms of um, that, like how things work. My brother is an electrical engineer, um, and he's tried to teach me some of the principles of electrical engineering, and uh, it just uh, doesn't really appeal to me.
essential employees, essential jobs. Um, yeah, for keeping the world running. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, yeah. So, uh, this is good. I like this. Um, I'm going to peel a few more crayons and then, um, take off. But, um, I want to leave you with, uh, just a couple of thoughts. Um, if you guys get a chance, um, there's a really great article in uh, Medium about um, how this moment and how, how amazing this moment is in history. Um, specifically, how the world has essentially come to a complete stop. And we put a pause on everything. You know, everything that was in the news and part of our lives and how we operated um, in our lives and with society um, has come to a grinding halt. And we have this amazing opportunity to kind of reshape what our world looks like. So when we come out of this, um, you know, how are we going to operate differently? How are, how are we going to function differently? Um, and we have this amazing opportunity to take a step back and determine what our new world will look like. Um, and it's incredibly important for us to keep our eyes and ears open um, and keep an open mind, but also um, use this time to kind of examine our own lives, um, and make a determination, like, is there, is there bullshit that was in our life two months ago that we no longer want in our life? Like, this is an opportunity to take care of that. Um, is there, um, a hobby that you always wanted to take up? Is there, um, um, you know, do you want to consume less news? Do you want to spend more time with friends and family? Do you want to learn how to cook? Do you want to, um, maybe you wanted to leave your job and now this is the opportunity to do that. Or maybe you got laid off from your job that you hated and this is a blessing in disguise. Um, this is a time for all of us to reinvent ourselves. And can, I can't think of any other time or opportunity that we will have at anywhere in the near future where we all collectively have the opportunity to do that all at once. And so that makes this moment incredibly beautiful. And we need to seize this moment. So I urge all of you to take some time and examine your life and start to think about ways in which you can make some improvements. Think about things that you've been tolerating that you no longer want to tolerate or things that you've been wanting to do that you haven't had the time to do it. Now you have the time, so here's your chance. Yeah, this is our moment. So let's let's use it for good. Let's focus on the things that we want to change and let's take this time to do it because before we know it, the world's gonna go back to some sort of busyness and you know, the pause button will be pressed again, and or the play button will be pressed, or whatever, the fast forward button, I don't know what button's going to be pressed, but um, it's not going to be like this, where everything's on pause. And so while it's on pause, let's take a step back and say, okay, what do we want to change? There's this thing that I used to do um, at my old job where we'd have what we call post-mortems, where, you know, we'd work on the 
this big project. And um, once when the project was over, what we would do um, within literally a couple of days after the project was done, what we would do is we would all get together as a group, everybody that worked on the project, and we would say, okay, this.